Oh, hey there guys, uh, welcome to the channel. Um, do apologize for this uh, video being uploaded uh, again. <laughs> I, uh, I guess I had some kind of audio issue that I could not uh, resolve, so I just wanted to um, upload it again and uh, do, it, do it properly. So uh, today is actually my birthday and um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not too sure why why the the the, uh, the audio issue had to occur. But anyways, uh, never mind that. Um, yeah, I wanted to share what I was doing with the uh, Goliath project. Um, just kind of turn it into a, a mini tutorial and um, show you guys like a, a rust effect uh, that I came up with uh, uh, on this build. And basically, yeah, the idea is to try to figure out how to do something without an airbrush. Um, so just using the uh, the sponge technique, um, create layer, create, creating layers with um, four different colors. I, I typically start off with a, a, a brown color and then move into more of like a uh, like a red and then uh, an, an orange. So um, yeah, what you're gonna want to do is just simply uh, take a, a cheap sponge. Um, you can use like some smaller ones if you if you have them as well. Uh, but I just kind of just use whatever I got around that, around the house and um, This does the job that I that I need so um, Anyways, hopefully you guys uh, like this uh, walkthrough and uh, enjoy the uh, the end result So yeah, so after uh, you, you work with the brown color um, over top of the, uh, the base, well in this case I'm using a, a red oxide uh, spray, like a, like a red oxide uh, primer actually, and then uh, I, I go over with the brown. You want to switch to um, like a different color, usually uh, red uh, is good. If you look at rust outside and you know if you're walking around on, you know, on, on various objects, you'll see that it's a lot of different colors. Um, usually like a little bit of brown, a little bit of red, sometimes even darker areas could be um, like near black actually. And then um, in the case of my uh, milky uh, rusted uh, tr vehicle I did a few weeks ago, um, I used uh, a, a tan color as well as, as the base. So um, so yeah, you're just, you're just gonna want to go around the car and uh, you know kind of do what you feel like uh, in terms of how it's gonna look at the end. Yeah, so you're going to want to be careful also not to knock off any uh, any accessories or anything that you glued to the car. You want to just kind of focus to the, on the body. And um, yeah, I'm going to be painting this uh, white. So the uh, the layering that I'm trying to do is, is not going to be all, all over everything. But what I figured at the end, it's going to be, um, it's going to make the paint look a little bit uh, bubbly uh, underneath. So, you know, so adding extra layers in certain spots will, will help with that. And uh, once the uh, once the salt um, gets chipped off, you you just reveal um, you know some of the details from from the paint itself. So the last step that I did for this was um, to actually try using some a really light color like uh, like beige, as I as I mentioned before, and. Um, Kind of, I kind of liked how it, how it looked, so um, just went around the entire vehicle, just kind of giving the rust a, a bit of highlight. And uh, yeah, I was also um, kind of careless and I broke uh, one of the handles on the door, but in the end it actually made it look uh, a lot a lot inch more interesting. Um, the other thing too is I was kind of constantly um, almost damaging one of my machine guns, so you want to just be a little careful when you're, uh, when you're handling a, a model that's got some like really uh, fragile bits on it like this one.
And uh, yeah, once you've got um, you know a pretty good base in terms of several different colors, it should look, um, well, with the exception of a, a broken piece that I managed to do, um, the top should look something like this, uh, you know, or, or just in you know certain areas of the car. So I really liked how the roof uh, turned out um, by, uh, you know, adding adding just different layers with the sponge. Um, you know, you can use something else. You can use like a, even try like a Q-tip or, um, or as someone had mentioned, you can um, use like some smaller sponges that, that also can work um, and then get into some finer areas. So you just have to kind of do with whatever you're, you're most comfortable with. But, uh, but what I wanted to do now is, uh, before I'm gonna paint it all white, I'm gonna mask off um, just some areas that I don't want any of the salt to get on or um, any of any more paint to get on. So um, there's a couple areas like on the roof that I thought looked really good in terms of the uh, the paint job that I managed to to do. So um, so just covering it over with uh, some green tape and uh, also the um, the passenger side uh, has this um, tarp that I, I put on there. So. I want to, I'm going to end up painting it like a different color and I, I didn't want to, again, I didn't want any more um, paint to get on it before I got, I got to it. So just, you want to just mask off a few areas that, uh, you know, for sure you want to kind of save uh, for the very, very end. So, I mean, using salt is definitely a, a more of a, a random thing, um, you know, when you paint the entire car, but um, you know, I kind of wanted to make sure that there's a few areas that, that just, I wanted to stand out. So I'm gonna cover it over with tape and uh, make sure it's, uh, it's saved at the end. So, um, and then next step is uh, basically, uh, you wanna get some water and uh, some salt. I'm not using uh, very uh, chunky, uh, coarse uh, sea salt as I often do. I bought um, this a little more of like a finer grit. Um, and I actually bought this one by accident. I was gonna buy uh, the larger one. I see usually what I what I usually cook with. Actually, to be completely honest, um, but I, I bought this one instead. And um, I've got enough salt to last several years. There's no way I'm gonna ever use all this. So I might as well just use it on some uh, model making and uh, make some use out of it. So, um, so you want to go slowly. Um, you don't want to like coat the entire thing like I've actually done before. Um, you know, you want to do a little bit at a time and let the water soak up um, the salt and kind of hold it in place. So once uh, once that's done, it just kind of sticks there, and uh, you don't have to worry about it really kind of falling off. The water just um, is just basically kind of like glue in a way. And um, with the tape being there as well, um, you know, you don't have to worry about the tape really coming off. It doesn't. I mean, they're gonna get, it's gonna get wet, but it doesn't really matter. It should it should be. Uh, it should hold in place. And uh, yeah, I mean, the salt's gonna dry, um, you know, uh, pretty, pretty quickly. So, you know, you're not gonna have to worry about the, too much water uh, being on this. Um, one of my previous uh, videos, I did use uh, a lot of water and just like a little bit of salt and I kind of sprayed over top of the water and it kind of created its own mask. But uh, in this case, yeah, you wanna wanna leave, you're gonna wanna leave it um, to dry for, I think actually I let this one dry for several hours before I even bothered to paint it. It might've been even overnight actually. So yeah, you're gonna want it to be pretty, pretty dry. And then, uh, yeah, just start, start going over it with some light coats um, of your main um, you know, base color that you want. Uh, in this case, I wanted to make like a, like a white uh, limo that um, got all rusty and, and uh, turned into a battle wagon basically. So um, at the end, after I let it dry uh, again, overnight again, um, this is the end result. And uh, you wanna just take all the tape off. Actually, the tape does help uh, to remove salt at the same time. So any of the surrounding salts just gonna kinda of come with your tape. And uh, as you can see here, the, um, the, uh, the tarp on the passenger side is uh, 
untouched basically and their nice looking roof uh, rust um, is still intact because I, I covered it over with tape and uh, you know and afterwards you're going to want to start um, using a using a toothbrush or something similar to uh, remove the rest of the salt. So with the uh, toothbrush you're going to want to just kind of go over the edges and uh, just try to be careful not to not to uh, knock off any of your glued items if you um, did what I did here with just some basic um, plastic parts I, I got from a, a, like an army truck uh, kit uh, which you, you could probably see in, a, in another video um, and uh, you can also you know just use your fingers and stuff but uh, as you can see where I had done some like multicolor um, kind of with the sponge it's coming through um, after you remove the uh, the salt um, you can see that um, you know there's different shades underneath so it looks pretty neat I, I kind of like how the, how this is turning out So yeah, this is the uh, the end result after um, actually after I reattached the uh, the back uh, guard and as you can see the rust on the roof uh, still looks uh, pretty pretty darn good and uh, yeah and then the white just kind of shows up in in the right areas like where I wanted it trying to make it uh, really faded and uh, and and cool looking so anyways uh, thanks for uh, stopping by if you've watched before sorry for the uh, mix up with the audio have a great day.